Begin by connecting an Ethernet cable from the device power supply to the device Ethernet port. In your browser, navigate to 192.168.0.1. Log in to the device with username admin and password admin. Next, navigate to the Quick Start menu. Verify that the device mode is set to AP. The country code controls device regulatory settings such as power level restrictions and available frequency range. Set this parameter to your country of operation. Select a frequency carrier from the drop-down list. This list is generated based on your configuration of the country code parameter. The AP name, or SSID, is used to identify the AP on the network. Configure this parameter with a description appropriate for your deployment. Next, specify the percentage of the aggregate throughput used for the downlink and uplink. To avoid self-interference, this parameter must be configured the same for all APs within radio range. Specify your synchronization timing source. Select GPS to use the AP's GPS antenna. Select CMM to source timing from a Cambium cluster management module. Or select internal for the AP to generate timing. To receive IP addressing from a DHCP server, select DHCP. To assign static IP addressing, select static. Configure the Ethernet IP address. This address is used to access the AP web management interface. Configure the subnet mask to define the address range of the connected IP network. The gateway acts as an entrance and exit for packets on the network edge. Configure this parameter to the IP address of your network's gateway. Configure authentication type to WPA2 to require station authentication. Next, configure the authentication pre-shared key on the AP, then configure each of the network stations with this key to complete the authentication configuration. Note that the save icon is highlighted, indicating that a save is required. Click this icon to commit the changes to the device.